Hi and welcome to Excel tutorial of how to use the lookup function search, add new, print, clear and exit using a user form. So let me show you guys how this works. I'm going to first of all clear and let's enter an unknown record in there. Okay, I'm now going to click on search. There we go. Item not found. Confirm if you want to add these very student details. I'm going to say no. And you see what happened so supposing I confirm that I would like to enter the following and if I search for this it's not going to be on the system confirm if you want to add this I'm going to say yes you can see the cost of flashing and this add new is already enabled so let's enter the student details so let's say the student details is all a okay something like that Olawali and the other name is Oshodi and let's come down here there a little bit okay and gender male okay let's enter the two tours details that's family wells and concession let's say it's, it got about one point whatever there so I'm going to show you one thing look at the spreadsheet right now so what I'm going to then do is I will then click on add okay that's the add button there and let's see that is it okay you can see the details of allowally right there okay so what I'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into Excel development environment and we'll put one of these together. Let's do that now guys. Okay guys, let's start a new, a new system. As you can see, I have already populated spreadsheets here. There is nothing in there and it's not even saved. So first thing first, I'm going to save it as a student system there. And the file type is going to be Excel macro enable and let's click on save there right so the next thing is I'm going to now select developer tab if you don't have your developer tab you go to file select option and this pops up select customize remain and you should be able to enable your developer tab right there then click on ok there so once that is ready click on the visual basic or select alt f11 right there ok now insert click on insert use the form and I'm going to define the size of this form as 800 by 1026 yeah that's fine now the next thing let's get the toolbox here right here I'm going to insert the frame and get rid of the content in that frame where is the caption get rid of that so copy this frame hold on to your control just drag and we don't reduce the size of this to about that bring the right down I'm also gonna copy this and just something like that we don't need two of those though and just drag it up one here and one here yeah there we go all right select all of these frames and just change the color come into the back color here and let's change that to green 
made the back color of each frames. There we go. Now, let's add labels here. We need eight of those here. Then just increase the size of these anyway. Come into the font and just increase the font size. Yeah. Another eight here. There we go. Copy, drag here. And just right here, we're going to need buttons here. Let's grab some buttons, some bud. I think maybe five for now. I might need one more. There. So I'm going to speed up the the whole design of this interface but right now this is how it's looking at so let's speed it up and give it a name and uh, get back to you guys but then I think I'm gonna need one label here let's grab a label here on board here and just increase the font of that to something readable and I'll get back to you guys as soon as I'm done with the naming Right. Change the color of that to something very light. Yeah. Okay. It's coming up. Okay. Let me just speed that up and I'll get back to you guys. There we go, guys. This is how the whole interface looks now. Okay, but uh, let's change the back color of this. Let me just change that to the same color. Come in there and palette. There we go. Right now, as for the command buttons here, this very one, I'm going to disable that so double click on the form and on form initialize so select the event initialize and paste that in there dot enable equals false there we go yeah so if I run it that button is now disabled the next one is let me take care of this exit Cancel that. Double click on exit. And right here. And right there. Those are the lines of code for my exit. There. Now. Back here. Now let's take care of. Clear. As for the clear. I'm going to. Enter as follows. For clear. Okay. I've used a for loop because I have 16 items okay 16 text box in total I have 8 on each side so I will use a for loop to clear all of the text box but one more thing I would like to disable this as well instead of me just disabling this I might as well just call it the form form initialize call form initialize there okay next one let's take care of the print that's very simple and right here we enter the following lines of code for the print right there application dot dialog so this will show us a dialog and print whatever we have on the workbook just one copy there that is it done so so far I have taken care of exit clear and print in fact let's run it and see how it looks like exit no I don't want to exit let's add some data in here
clear that's fine and let's see if we can print the content we have on my spreadsheet click this is the dialog box and because I don't have any print attached to my printer attached to my system I've set the default as one note let's click on setup and I'm gonna make that landscape okay you can also see the advanced and just set whatever you want click on OK and then click on OK there we go it's now coming up so you can print directly from the OneNote since I don't have printer attached to my system so close that